a limited company with registered capital of rupees 5 lakh shares of 10 each issued 20000 of such shares payable to an application you have to read the question and the last line is record the above in the company's journal and prepare the balance sheet in the books of a limited working notes note 1 distribution of amount and number of installments application 2 allotment 4 first call 2 second and final call 2 and totally 10 here 1000 you must have read the question 2 3 times before going through this here five shareholders holding total Thousand shares fail to pay fast call, and at the same time, a holder of a three hundred share paid second and final call in advance. And after fast call, these thousand shares were forfeited. And after this, second and final call was made. And after this, these thousand shares were reissued as fully paid. The sequence of the question is this, and. Number of shares issued and subscribed twenty thousand, but the company's authorized share capital is five lakh. That is rupees five lakh in shares of a rupees ten each. That is fifty thousand share is authorized share capital. Next one is your number of shares forfeited thousand, number of shares issued thousand shares. Then fair notes journal entries of A Limited. We have to start with the first entry after drawing a good. जर्नल फॉर्मेट फर्स्ट वन बीइंग बैंक अकाउंट डेबिटेड टू शेयर एप्लीकेशन अकाउंट इट इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एट द रेट ऑफ रुपीज टू फोर्टी थाउजेंड इन डेबिट एंड क्रेडिट कॉलम्स बीइंग शेयर एप्लीकेशन मनी रिसीव्ड ऑन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एप्लीकेशन एट द रेट ऑफ रुपीज टू पर एप्लीकेशन देन दिस इज एप्लीकेशन रिसीड देन नेक्स्ट वन इज एप्लीकेशन ड्यू दैट इज शेयर एप्लीकेशन अकाउंट डेबिटेड टू शेयर कैपिटल अकाउंट Being share application money due on twenty thousand shares at the rate of rupees two per share, that is rupees forty thousand. First receipt, then due. Next one is due receipt, due receipt, due receipt. Then this is allotment due. Share allotment account debited to share capital account. Being share allotment money due on twenty thousand shares at the rate of rupees four per share. Twenty thousand into four, that is eighty thousand. This is due entry for allotment. Allotment money due. Then receipt bank account debited to share allotment account, that is eighty thousand in debit and credit. Being share allotment money received on twenty thousand shares at the rate of rupees four per share. Twenty thousand into four, that is eighty thousand rupees. Full allotment was received. But when the final first call was made, not final call, share first call account debited to share capital account, being share first call money due on twenty thousand shares at the rate of rupees two per share. This is twenty thousand into two full value due, that is rupees forty thousand each. But the problem starts with receipt. This is then the next entry is bank account debited to share first call. Five shareholder holding thousand shares could not pay fast call. That means out of twenty thousand shares, thousand shareholders could not pay. Twenty thousand minus thousand that is nineteen thousand. Nineteen thousand into two that is thirty eight thousand. Two share fast call account nineteen thousand into two thirty eight thousand. Two calls in advance account that is three hundred. A holder of 300 shares paid second and final call in advance of rupees three, 200 into th sorry 300 into two. Final call is two rupees. That is 300 shares at the rate of rupees two. That is rupees 600. That is calls in advance account debited a uh, credited 600. These two credits 38,000 plus 600. That will be written in debit thirty-eight thousand six hundred. Then your narration. 
being share first call money received on 19000 shares at the rate of rupees 2 per share and holder of 300 shares paid second and final call in advance at the rate of rupees 2 per share very good narration next one is forfeiture of the 1000 shares who could not pay failed to pay share capital account debited 1000 shares rupees 8 call up final call up 2 has not been made that is 1000 into 8 8000 to forfeited shares account he paid application allotment application 2 and allotment 4 that is 6 1000 into 6 6000 rupees to share of first call account that is 1000 into 2 2000 rupees which he could not pay being 1000 shares forfeited due to non payment of first call money of rupees 2 per share then second call due second and final call will be calling it is clearly mentioned in the question final call was made after the forfeiture final call will be made on balance shares 20000 shares were there 1000 could not pay hence 19000 paid share second and final call account debited to share capital account 19000 into 2 38000 both debit and credit being share second and final call money due on 19000 shares at the rate of rupees 2 per share and no due entry is made on 1000 forfeited shares 1000 share forfeited shares no due entry was made 1000 into 2 2000 hence share second and final call account debited to share capital account that is 38000 in debit and credit columns next one we received all the money simple entry bank account debited calls in advance account debited to share second and final call account being share second and final call money received on 18,700 shares at the rate of 2 per share excluding amount received in advance at the time of first call. I will explain you very well 38,000 should have been received on second call. But see we received rupees 600 in this pages first entry third line to calls in advance 600. This calls in advance was credited now it will be debited for cancellation because 300 shareholder could not pay rupees 2 that is 600 rupees out of a 38,000 rupees 600 rupees could not be collected and the amount collected is 37,400 this this much was collected hence we collected all money and adjusted 600 rupees next reissue of the forfeited shares that 1000 shares now reissued at rupees 6 per share fully paid up second last line that is bank account debited forfeited shares account debited to share capital account being 1000 shares reissued at rupees 6 per share fully paid up 1000 into 6 6000 bank account debit forfeited shares account debit 1000 into 4 4000 to share capital account 1000 into 10 10000 amount received 6000 discount on reissue 4000 total capital 10000 here second last entry is uh, sorry fourth last entry is for two forfeited shares account 6000 and out of this 6000 we gave forfeited shares in the last entry of this page that is 4000 discount on reissue out of that 6000 we gave discount on the issue 4000 hence capital reserve is 2000 next entry this is how capital reserve was, was calculated share forfeited account debit 6000 share forfeited account credit 4000 the profit is 2000 that is forfeited shares account debited 2000 to capital reserve account 2000 being profit and forfeiture and reissue of shares transferred to capital reserve account that is again 2000 then total will be 4 lakh 14600 4 lakh 14600 then your balance sheet 
बैलेंस शीट ऑफ ए लिमिटेड एज पर शेड्यूल सिक्स पार्ट वन ऑफ द कंपनीज एक्ट 1956 आज एट डेट आफ्टर इशू ऑफ शेयर्स वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द फॉर्मेट ऑफ द बैलेंस शीट आफ्टर ड्राइंग एंड राइटिंग द पर्टिकुलर्स वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विथ पार्ट वन इक्विटी एंड लाइबिलिटीज वन शेयर होल्डर्स फंड्स ए पार्ट शेयर कैपिटल नोट नंबर वन द अमाउंट इज टू लाख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड शेयर्स ऑफ टेन इज फुली कल्ड फुली शूड फुली कलेक्टेड देन बी पार्ट रिजर्व एंड सरप्लस नोट टू दैट विल बी कैपिटल रिजर्व टू थाउजेंड देन टोटल इज टू लाख टू थाउजेंड देन assets part 2 assets one current assets a cash and cash equivalents note 3 2 lakh 2000 total of asset side 2 lakh 2000 then your notes to accounts one share capital authorized 50000 equity shares of 10 is the first line rupees 5 lakh issued 20000 equity shares of 10 each rupees 2 lakh subscribe 20000 equity shares of 10 each 2 lakh rupees called up and paid up same 20000 equity shares of 10 each we forfeited reissued and made fully paid then reserves and surplus capital reserve account 2 lakh 2000 sorry on forfeiture and reissue of shares third working note third note Cash and cash equivalents. Cash at bank two lakh two thousand, and this is the final answer.